Yes, so I've just finished speaking a message to the women, which started out talking about the million dollars that we're supposed to raise by Christmas, looking at the slavery in Libya. Um, first of all, I need to elaborate on both issues, which is the slavery and the million dollars, okay? And uh, the million dollars is just the beginning towards a much bigger budget, which is a $10 billion, $10 billion plan. We're working with a plan that big. And that is where the big names such as Angela Merkel are involved. And obviously now it looks like um, Theresa May is going to take this Brexit thing further. So she's going to be at the forefront of that. Uh, she's not giving in. Um, she's got to win a general election and we'll see if she wins that. And, um, you know, who knows? Um, so at the core of it is a $10 billion plan, right? And uh, to kick off, we need to reach $1 million by Christmas, okay? And um, the issue with slavery is slavery in Libya is the culmination of a, an economic uh, setup that has our people live in the comfort of their homes or the discomfort of their homes in search of greener pastures and ending up in slavery en route, okay? And uh, ironically, that's happening in Libya. Uh, the opposite used to happen. People used to come to Libya and get stuck in Libya because actually they were making better money than they'd be making in Europe and then start sending that money home. That was before we got rid of Gaddafi, okay? Now, Gaddafi is gone and... Uh, that buffer zone is gone, which means that now there's a lot more people coming to Europe. And that's a problem. And that is the root of the problem that we have with Brexit. You see? So all these things are interconnected. And what I'm trying to get at now is that we need to be taking control of the Brexit debate. You know? Let's not... Um, isolate it and think it's one i mean the brexit debate is one and the same as the slavery is one and the same as colonialism and apartheid with julius malema in uh, in south africa all of it is the same it's also the same one with bill cosby going to prison it's all the same debate right and we're gonna have to face it all as a family which is why our record company is called cool mom records because we are including that element of the family which is the nurturing and um, it is very important um, you know God is really good he shows you signs of what I've been trying to say he's been very kind to me and so when when uh, when um, when what's the name of when Drake came out with the uh, song God's plan what they did with the video to take that million dollars and give it away to people and use that as a way of promoting and get, and then at the very end he says that we are nothing without our mothers you know, all of that, that sentiment is the foundation for Cool Mom Records, you know. The great profits that are made from the music industry and the great spending in the music industry can be done in such a way that it is beneficial to the mothers of the talent and the mothers of the fans, you know, because the fans have mothers and the, and the singers have mothers. But it's like they're left out, marginalized, even though they generate billions of dollars and have been doing so for so long. And so many of them come from our community and our community has not been having any money uh, coming to them from the revenue that their children, uh, that their children generate. So that's the philosophy behind Cool Mom Records. And that is why it is Cool Mom Records. And that is why it is necessary for the mothers to take control of it. You know, otherwise we'll be pimping women under the guise of... of uh, of giving women equality and that's not what we're gonna do what we have done is we've made such a structure that goes all the way and gives it to the women all the way anyway I get lost and it goes round and round but I think you're getting the gist of what I'm dealing with um, the 10 billion dollar plan is uh, pretty detailed in terms of the outline you know the out outer structure and then we need to fill it in as we go along so the one million dollars is the first of nine million dollars that is focusing on malawi where i come from okay charity begins at home all right so um having said that i'm going to stop this video and i'm going to go on onto what we're going to be doing in malawi with the nine million dollars okay why we're raising the nine million dollars what the whole issue is in malawi all right, 
So stay with me. Blessed love.